stay out of the way so you, so you don't get step on. So far I'm just videoing a panel, but at some point something will happen. I've never had a cow not want to get out of a trailer. Let's go. Come on. You're thinking about it. I thought they didn't like the trailer. Come on. Come on. You like these. You just need to get up for them now. There's plenty of these where you're going. Come on. So our cow is here. She just finished peeing, hence being hunched over. She's a little tired from being hauled. But that's okay. I just got her up to walk her around a bit. The calf is spunky and happy. Give me a second, bud. So right beside where these guys are, well, the pigs are right there. I just have them in this tiny paddock here. But our heifers, our other ones, are over here and they're mooing. Oh, and the ponies, they're all watching. Who is these new people? You have a loud moo, calf. The cow is sniffing around, checking it out. I'm gonna let her into a bigger pasture soon. I just wanted her in a small one until she kind of figured out what was up. Bringing some morning tea out to check on my sweet little bovines. Good morning, Patches. Oh, I love little cow moos. Good morning, Patches. How's your mama doing? She's waiting by the gate. She wants to get out. Should we let you out there, Annabelle? I kept you in because there was a big lightning storm last night. Okay, we'll let you out. She seems to be fairly used to dogs. But she doesn't want Pepper in the run. Pepper, you leave them alone. Get. Leave it, dog. Leave it. Get out of here, you. Just have to have some snackies first. Put my tea down and my kids give me a hard time. But they always find coffee mugs or tin mugs on fence posts and such or in the garden places. But it just happens, I need to put it down to do something and then I just forget. Hi, sweet mama. One of this week's projects is uh, sawing this off before it touches her head. There's a wire that you do it with. Okay, Pepper, get out of here. Mama doesn't like it. Get! Before it becomes a problem, we're gonna get rid of it. It looks like it's already been sawed off before at another point. I did open it up for you to go out, but I guess your baby's eaten now. She is a nurse cow too. If we wanted her to be, she loves to take extra calves. So I'm hesitant to put her with our other one-year-old heifers that they might try nursing off of her. Or she might just be like, hey, more babies. Come nurse off me. Although they were bottle fed. They were never nursed off a cow. So I don't know if they would go for it or not. What do you think, Mama? show you guys the stanchion I made though maybe I should get my coffee cup first but I took an old cattle squeeze and I took the squeeze part out of the inside and then I hung 
uh, a stanchion yoke head locker, whatever you want to call it, that I got from a dairy farm. Hung it with chains. And this is kind of temporary. I won't, we might try it here. And then just depending on if we like it or not. Marius doesn't overly like the idea of it. But I feel like the kids wanting to learn to milk and the kids really want to learn to milk. Um, that her being in something like this will feel very comforting to them. Like they'll feel safer. So we'll see how it goes. But um, she had to have some penicillin and ha before we had her, the day before we had her. And she had to have no water for 24 hours and then the stress of being hauled. So her milk production has taken a dip and I'm confident it will come back. But in the meantime, I'm just leaving her calf on her because we can't drink the milk anyways. So as long as her udder's not bursting, we're just going to leave these two together and let the calf take care of it. And also the calf is going to do an excellent job of bringing her milk production back. Because that calf, I tested her at her last night and there is milk even though the calf wasn't staying on those teats. But the calf is just kind of like going from one teat to the other, nursing, bunting, nursing, bunting. So her production is going to come back in no time. So I don't know if you can see him. Hmm. It's kind of a black spot over there. But over there is where our friend's beef cows are. And the whole herd is over in the field, but that bull, he smells this mama. He is waiting there by the fence. Even though all the other ones, you can see little white dots in the green field. He's a little black dot behind the red hay baler. Oh dear, I hope he does not become a problem. Oh, hello, Mr. Boris. Sorry, you are not getting out today or tomorrow or any day. But there's another gate here and we're going to close this bad boy too. So then there's going to be two full fences between this bull and my family. It's less about the cow even, like if she got bred it wouldn't be the end of the world. I don't really want her bred just yet, but that's, you know, it's more that if this guy gets out I want there to be another barrier. So at least there'll be another fence. It'd be in my garden, but better than near my children. Actually, there's then three fences. There's his fence, garden fence, and then he'd have to get through here. He'd either have to get through a fence there, or he'd have to get, he couldn't get in panels. Well, I sure hope he couldn't get in panels. There's actually one more fence I can shut, and I'm going to shut it so that there is now three gates between that bull and my children. I um, I knew that we'd have to watch it, but I honestly think she was in standing heat last night um, because of the discharge that I saw. When a cow is in standing heat, it's like raw egg whites, and I saw some on her tail last night. So I think she may have been in standing heat last night, which would make the bull really want her and bulls can smell that sort of thing pepper okay pepper come on you're going to the house let's go so i've made the cow this electric fence pen near our house and around the greenhouse we have about an acre of unanimal fenced home yard so to speak and i figure it's a good tame cow is a great way to take advantage of all this space. <laughs> 